Welcome everybody. We are very excited about today's dissected episode where we're gonna be taking a look at the new Norco fluid. So fluid. Norco has worked very hard to offer features reserved for exclusively high-end dual suspension mountain bikes from rider safety to suspension tuning to different tube shapes and modern geometry, all with bikes starting at under $3,000. So one of the biggest takeaways that we got from our time with Norco in creating this episode was the challenge, the passion, and the excitement behind the people at Norco in creating this new fluid. Now there are bikes, again, starting at $26.99 up to $44.99. There are five sizes available from small all the way to double XL. So that's right, riders five foot one up to six foot seven are gonna be able to find a comfortable home on this affordable dual suspension bike. Now, when I talk about the passion and the excitement, it wasn't just because they were unveiling a new bike. Instead, that passion was the challenge of making a bike that performed well, was safe, and allowed riders to grow and thrive on the trail without throwing away any cause or concern for price. And that was where the engineering and design team at Norco had a really fun time. They wanted to bring the ride align concept, customized suspension tunes, um, modern day geometry to new riders, riders on a budget, and really let them have the best experience they could on the trail. Oh. Now, as I said, this bike is not just an aluminum optic and it is greatly different from the outgoing fluid. Now, there was some inspiration, some education and learning that Norco did implement into this new fluid. However, there's also a lot of differences. Now, the optic is a, a pretty purpose-built and specific performance machine. It is designed to be ridden hard, aggressive, fast. Yes, it is a short travel bike, but it has a downhill shock on it. It's got a 35 millimeter stroke. It has the maximum amount of volume reducers you can have in that shock. So again, the intended application of that bike is to be ridden hard to absorb impacts and energy at high frequency, at high speed by demanding riders. Similarly, the rebound was pretty fast. It could give some feedback to the pedals, um, particularly if you were a slower or more casual rider. Um, and, and so some of the changes in this bike, just around the rear shock, for example, are designed to change how that bike feels. 50 millimeter stroke shock. Uh, they do not have the maximum number of volume reducers in there. This is designed to be a much more well-rounded all around bike. Whether you are someone new looking to get into a relatively affordable dual suspension performance mountain bike, um, or you are a discerning rider that maybe just wanted a little bit smoother, a little more comfortable, well-rounded ride than the Optic offered, uh, the new fluid should be right up your alley. Now, some of the other neat features, um, and again, learnings that crossed over here were the one-piece forged link arm. Norco also sought to increase the durability with large bearings, uh, double bearings down at the horse link and other key pivot points. And while they did do certain things to increase the durability, they also were conscious of not wanting to just make this bike an absolute heavy beast, right? They knew that it is an aluminum frame. There usually is a slight penalty with aluminum, but in wanting to deliver the best performance uh, for all riders, they're opting to use two different tube sets for these bikes. So small medium frames are gonna have a uh, smaller, lighter, more lively, you could say more damped ride feel, whereas the large extra and double extra large frames are gonna have a little bit more robust tube set, obviously heavier riders, a uh, little more demands on the material. So, um, I mean, that is, an expensive process, it's time consuming, but it also just shows the amount of detail that went into creating the best affordable bike that Norco could make. Speaking of wanting to give riders the best experience possible, uh, something that was really neat and another thing that stood out to us was the time and effort that Norco put into custom tuning uh, the rear shocks for this bike. Now, 
it's not uncommon, you know, especially on high-end bikes, to work with Fox or RockShox and such brands to custom tune uh, volume reducers, uh, damping, rebound, etc., for these high-end bikes. The the entry-level bike, which is $26.99, comes with an X Fusion shock. Norco told us that they actually took dyno tests, samples, they worked extensively with X-Fusion to get a custom tuned X-Fusion shock that would perform the best with this bike and its kinematics. Um, that carries over throughout the rest of the ride and really is kind of part of the greater ride aligned philosophy. Now, if you've missed it, we will link to a much more in-depth feature we did on Norco's Ride Aligned concept. But essentially what that means is uh, Norco puts a lot of focus and energy into giving riders the best center of gravity. They kind of have it diagrammed as a pyramid on their website. Um, and it's really cool. You can actually go in there, you can plug in your height, your weight, your terrain, your rider expertise level. Um, and, and it will spit you back bar width, stem length, seat height, tire pressure, suspension recommendations, you name it, etc. However, in combination with that, the frames are designed a little bit differently. You're not going to just have a static seat tube angle number. You're not going to have a static reach. Obviously, uh, the stack height changes. All these numbers morph as the bike grows and shrinks. Similarly, riders of different height are gonna have different proportions. You know, their, their legs are gonna be longer, their arms are gonna be longer, their center of gravity is going to shift on the bike. And that ride aligned triangle is wanting to keep riders centered over that bike so it's performing well, you're safe, and the traction is planted on the ground. We've got a size large here. I'm 5'11". Uh, most of our riders are in that 5'10 to 6'1 range um, with a 480 millimeter reach. It seems like it's pretty spot on. The seat tube angle is 66.67 on the large. Now, depending on the size, a small will have a 76. Double X will have a 77.3. Also, each different size is going to have a different rear center or chainstay lengths, which will affect the overall wheelbase of each bike. And again, keep you centered over the bike for best performance. To further drive home the fact that Norco really put effort and energy into making this a rider's bike, uh, a look at the spec will show you that Norco was really motivated to do riders right. Now, four piston brakes, um, especially from a brand like TRP, who offers some of our favorite brakes on the market, is not something you usually find on you know, more cost conscious bikes. Uh, again, there are a number of different models available in this price range of bike. However, they're gonna all come with some sturdy and solid components, and that was intentional. Norco wanted this bike to be a great platform to either fine tune and hone your skills as you progress as a rider, turn the sport of mountain biking from a part-time hobby to a lifestyle, or give discerning riders the ability to get into a bike without breaking the bank and not feel the need to instantly replace products. So again, you're gonna see that in tire spec, brake spec, suspension, componentry, all this stuff has been thought out. Full length dropper post, 34.9 diameter. Um, there's a lot of effort and energy that Norco's team went into to make this bike perform well and not just hit a certain price point. And that, folks, is the brand new 2022 Norco Fluid Line. I know this was a pretty skimmed over video. Though there's a lot more that we did not address that will be up on our website. Make sure you go check that out. We will also link to Norco's website below so you can go to their site. Please reach out with any questions that you might have. We will do our best to get back to each and every one of you. And also reach out to Norco if any of those questions are above our heads. Please don't forget to hit subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated if you just hit that button. It would show some great support and we would appreciate it. Thanks very much and we'll see you out on the trails.